Jonathan Ramesh Ranganathan, is an English actor and comedian. Born, March 27, 1978, Crawley, United Kingdom. Supermarkets and specialist suppliers will have you believe there are great substitutes for cheese. There are not. No vegan cheese tastes anything like decent cheese, and melting cheese might as well be alchemy as far as the vegan cheese industry is concerned. Being away a lot on tour means that my family has to suffer an inordinate amount of overcompensation, as I return home with skewed ideas of what counts as quality time. I will force everyone into a cinema trip, insistent that three hours in the dark in silence is the perfect way for us all to re-engage. I've had a Hindu upbringing. There's a lot about it I think is cool. Temples are amazing. It's a nice vibe when people are praying. And there's lots about it where I understand why they believe those things. But I'm not practicing. Sri Lanka's interpretation of Western cuisine is pretty diabolical. Sri Lankan food itself is ace, however, and they bloody love a buffet. Even if you go to a basic looking cafe, they can knock up four or five different curries for you very quickly. The error that many vegans make is forgetting that our food is novelty value. Non-vegans think our food is awful, but are fascinated by the prospect of something vegan being delicious. They want to disprove it. Education seems to be placing increased emphasis on assessment and tracking, which means parents are terrified that if their kid doesn't exceed their expected learning level at 6 years old, they are immediately put in the class that ends up working at McDonald's. I mean, my stand-up is very honest and exposing in this way. I probably carry that into everything I do. Years later, when I was working as a trolley wally in a supermarket, I tackled the boredom by talking to the customers in as many different accents as I could manage. I started with one that I didn't think would alert any suspicion, generic Asian, then moved on to Irish, Welsh, Australian, and American. To avoid depression while traveling, I always take loads of items that make me feel connected with home. I can't even explain the joy I felt when I realized I'd remembered to pack my vanilla and mango scented beard oil. The feeling of euphoria was similar to my kids being born. My family is all obsessed with comedy. I grew up watching a lot of comedy in the house. I used to watch Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy with my dad. But my mom is more into slapstick stuff. People say that I'm quite grumpy and negative on stage and that I surely can't be like that off it, but I really am. My beard is just an ongoing effort to hide my face as much as possible. We are entering an age where people can claim to know more about what really happened than the people who were there. Where people will dismiss eyewitness accounts, on the basis of their gut feelings, where they will refute scientific discoveries because the scientist just doesn't look trustworthy. David Beckham is always seen as the thickest man on the planet, too daft to complete a jigsaw puzzle. But then you watch old footage of him playing and every time he plays a ball across the field, he's intuitively working out the trajectory of the ball. People assume that your audience is full of people who love you. But, typically, it's one person in four who's chosen to come and has convinced some other people to go with them.